Hi, this is Dr. Saurabh Welling and welcome to Dr. Welling's Health Show. Today we are going to discuss about multiple sclerosis. Now, multiple sclerosis is a complex neurological disorder that affects millions of people around the world. And it is a chronic and a progressive disease, which means the disease will progress gradually, causing severe physical debilitation due to its effects on the brain and spinal cord. Now at Welling Homeopathy Clinics, we have developed a specially formulated homeopathic treatment which can help patients with multiple sclerosis. You can call the number on the screen to get more information and for initial assessment by a specialist and to know if the treatment can help you too. In this video, we will be discussing what exactly is multiple sclerosis, its causes, symptoms and the treatment available to those affected by it. Now, multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disorder that attacks the myelin sheet, which is protecting or protective coat on your nerve cells in the central nervous system, which causes scarring or lesions on the brain and spinal cord. This damage can interfere with nerve signals that are sent by the body and other parts to the brain leading to issues with movement control and coordination. Now, because of which, multiple sclerosis can cause difficulty in walking, balancing problems, vision impairment, even muscle spasm or weakness in arms, legs, easy tiredness, which leads to depression, even memory issues and difficulty in concentrating. It can cause control problems in urine or, or bladder control and numbness in some areas of your body. So there are four types of multiple sclerosis differentiated by how often the relapses occur and how quickly it becomes more problematic. Now, which will be told to you when you consult your specialist. The exact cause of multiple sclerosis remains unknown. However, researchers believe that there may be combination of environmental factors which are combined with genetic predisposition that leads to its development in the body. Now, additionally, Research has shown that women are more likely than men to develop multiple sclerosis. As I discussed, the common symptoms in both men and women include vision problems such as blurred vision or double vision, tingling sensations or numbness throughout your body and coming up different parts of the body at different times like arms, legs, mouth, throat. Then there is impaired coordination or balance dizziness, you get vertigo, muscle weakness, spasms and bladder control problems. You get pain throughout your body at different times in the day, depression etc. Cognitive changes slowly happen such as memory, problem, difficulty concentrating. Now, in conventional medicine, there are several treatments available for those who are living with multiple sclerosis. They include medications such as steroids, or more specifically corticosteroids which reduce the inflammation associated with flare-ups. Immunomodulating drugs which help reduce the frequency and severity of flare-ups. Rehabilitative therapies which help improve mobility. Physical therapy which helps alleviate muscle tension. You get occupational therapy which can help manage your daily movements and routine. Speech therapy which improves your communication. Psychological counseling can help many people with emotional support. There are various dietary changes which are requested for symptom for symptom management. Acupuncture for pain relief, yoga for improved flexibility and balance, massage therapy for your relaxing muscles and improved circulation. Then there is something called as hydrotherapy for improved joint flexibility and mobility. So additionally, some vitamins and supplements have also been suggested which can help. Now, which your doctor will recommend to you depending on your individual case. Although there is no known cause for this condition yet, ongoing research continues to provide new insights into its pathology and why it is coming up. The treatments can be developed to improve quality of life for those affected by multiple sclerosis. So if you think you might have multiple sclerosis or you've been already diagnosed, you should seek medical attention as soon as possible so that we can diagnose and treat your condition accordingly. 
you should remember with proper diagnosis and treatment many people live with multiple sclerosis and they are able to live a full meaningful lives despite this debilitating condition that's all in today's episode of dr wellings health show i am take care